And I got another email from Kickstarter this morning about another project that I backed that is kicking the dust, not having very good luck this year. Uh, the Remix IO Plus was going to be a, a nice little Android TV box, but it was going to be running a TV version of Remix OS. And these guys have a great track record. We've reviewed uh, Remix OS in the past here. In fact, you can go and download it and run it on your computer right now for free if you want. Basically, it is a desktopified version of Android that allows you to run multiple apps side by side. You can reset size the windows, do everything you might want to do with the desktop OS, uh, but it's running Android. All your favorite Google Play apps run on it, and you can get the full power of your PC in the process. But unfortunately, I got this email this morning where it says an update from the Jide team. And you know it's bad news when they say it's an update. They never put the bad news right in the subject line. But there is some good news hidden here on the uh, last paragraph because they are committing to return every dollar of the over half a million dollars they collected to backers within in the next week to 10 days. They're going to be uh, sending that money back through Kickstarter. And this is exactly how projects should die if they have to, uh, which is everybody who put their money in gets their money back. And uh, this is kind of a, a new concept here in the Kickstarter world, but I'm glad that they're doing this. And it shows too that uh, they did not put all of their risk on the backers, that they had a plan should things not work out to be able to afford to pay back over a half a million dollars to the people that uh, put their hard-earned money towards the project. And this is exactly the kind of thing that I would like to see somehow Kickstarter show or show or prove to uh, backers ahead of time that the company is financially stable enough that uh, they're not uh, putting more risk on the backers than they're taking themselves. And I'm really glad that uh, Remix is doing this. Now, I don't know where Remix is going next. I think what's happening here is they're probably uh, feeling some pressure from uh, Google merging Chrome OS and Android OS. You know, the Google Play Store now is showing up on more and more uh, Chromebooks out there. And I'm, I'm sure they're looking at the writing on the wall saying it's going to be hard to compete with Google uh, in the consumer area. But they're probably seeing areas where uh, manufacturers and other companies looking for specific embedded solutions might be coming to them to uh, make Android OS work exactly the way they need it to. And I think this is really where their strengths are. So uh, unfortunately, this may be the last we see of consumer-facing stuff from Remix OS, which is unfortunate because they are very talented, but uh, business is business, and I'm glad they are uh, doing right by their backers and returning the money. If I don't get my refund, I'll definitely let you know, but I am sure it will come through. They've been a very trustworthy company in the past. This channel is brought to you by my Patreon supporters, including Gold Level supporter Cody Falk. If you want to help the channel, you can by contributing as little as a dollar a month. Head over to lon.tv slash Patreon to learn more. And don't forget to subscribe. Visit lon.tv slash s.